Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade, and welcome to Broke Rock. So today, what we're going to get up to? Well, we're going to do some trials, but we're going to do these trials with a bit of a difference that almost guarantees that we get lots of goodies and resources. But before we do that, I want to show you um, some of the tweaks I've made around the castle and the surrounding area. However, before we do that, I see you up there, Skelly. I see you. Um, yeah, before we uh, before we get to that, I've um, I've created a XP and flesh zombie flesh rotten flesh farm from a zombie spawner that was hidden in my caves. So. Um, as you can see behind me, let's just go into change the view. Um, if somebody is already using it, then somebody else could stand here and watch the zombies floating to their sacrifice. Um, obviously, there's none floating now because there's none down there using it. But it's really easy to find, and I've already let uh, the other broke rockers know that they can use it anytime they want without the need to ask. And it's really easy to find. We just go into my, um, what's it called? Mining and a cave-in entrance. So as we go in, we see lots of signs. So the first sign we see is zombies. Kill them for XP and other goodies. And another sign saying this way with an arrow pointing this way. <laughs> so off we go. Uh, I've added a little uh, sort of like steps here just to make it easier to run down and run back up again so you don't have to do any kind of jumping to slow you down um another sign this way so let's go down here and here we go another sign this way follow that um i had to put this sign here because i needed to put a mark um, a bit of a marker as to where the actual zombie spawner was uh let's see yeah, if we do that and that we can see there it is look and the zombies fall into this water they get fell down there they go into a bubble up evator which shoots them right up and then they go across that little um part that i just showed you a moment ago and then they drop down <laughs> let's just put this cobblestone back again i don't want to uh be falling in there and then they drop down this way in here and they drop down here the basically the drop is 23 blocks so that ensures they are one hit kills just like so isn't that good yes it is good sometimes though the zombies drop and they just die straight away but you know that's okay you know some of some of the zombies are a bit weaker than the others so uh yeah and it I don't know if they've, if Mojang's made any tweaks um, in the recent updates to uh, spawners because this seems really OP to me. I mean, it it really does. I'm not not that I'm complaining. It's it's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, you get loads of goodies. We get the rotten flesh, but we also get the iron and gold armor, which you, you can smelt down into gold gold nuggets and iron nuggets, which I do. You get the occasional iron ingot. Um, which is nice, and you also get the occasional potato and carrot. So it's all really good. Let's just get, get these killed off again. Uh, you can die. And we'll just make that just so that's a nice full stack. Do that. Do that. Whoop. One more there. Ah, oh, my organization skills. <laughs> Right, okay. So, yeah, I wanted to uh, just give you a brief show of that. I'd like to introduce you to Harpoon Harry and Harpoon Henry. These two buddies of mine have risen from the depths and are part of a ancient elite army of Harpoon soldiers called the Harpooners. Funnily enough, I don't know why they got that name. Um, but anyway, um, they said they're willing to serve me and they're willing to give me information uh, about this land and 
increase my knowledge and it's uh yeah it's like really interesting um i can't see them where 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 are they are they they're hiding somewhere that I, I assure you they are here and they are deadly if you go in the water they they will uh they will attack you with their harpoons here's one of them now which one's this guy that's harpoon henry he's the quieter of the two harpoon harry He's the chatterbox, and he's the one that's been giving me loads of information that I've been collating in a book in the library, which I shall uh, get to and show you in a moment. But let's just have a look at some of the tweaks that I've uh, been making in this area. So, been doing some terraforming to make this into a kind of swampy, muddy, marshy land. Uh, lots of azalea plants, trees. Uh, made this big custom tree here. Uh, this tree is actually known as the Guardian. And I shall give you some information about that in a few moments when we get to the library and get to the book. Um, I also made this bridge, not too small, not too big. I think it's just fits in nicely in the area just blends in quite well and i'm happy with the way it turned out let's just go and take a let's go and take a closer look at it because it, it, it is you know pretty good pretty good especially by my standards <laughs> uh so yeah uh it's combination of uh mud bricks and acacia uh we've got some got some light in there it's all uh, nicely spawn proofed which is what we want with the area and keep increasing the uh, spawn proofing around my area to make it as as spawn proof as possible so that way it'll be safe around here in the night time as well as in the daytime uh made this little back entrance i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this yet i might make a little outer building on on this side and whoops I don't want to break it, I want to push it, don't I? Let's get in there. And uh, sort of like another little building here. I've got an idea of what I want to do, but we'll have to see, see how that comes along. Um, added these nice ancient looking columns or support columns, uh, which just makes these uh, corner rooms look a bit more... A bit more secure basically like so they're not just hanging there they've got some kind of support obviously we need to get up to like first floor and second floor and so on so we've got a down evator here which brings us all the way down from the second floor and we have a up evator here this one takes us to the first floor and we have this up evator here that takes us to the second floor. So let's just go up to the second floor um, because I just want to quickly show you this nice little cozy area I've made. Here I can come and sit down, relax either by myself or with a friend um, with the ambient lighting candles uh nice little view here i could put some dinner there and it could be like a a candlelit dinner a romantic candlelit dinner for one <laughs> or two maybe <laughs> but yeah it's a, it's a nice little nice little private area just to collect your thoughts but let's go back down now the dining vator um, as, as you may or may not know, are um, made with magma blocks because the magma blocks pulls the, uh, pulls the water down. But when you land on magma blocks, you tend to take um, a little bit of damage and it goes click, 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 click. However, um, again, you may or may not already know this. If you hold down your shift key and go into crouch mode, so whichever key you've assigned to crouch mode, when you land on the magma block, you won't take no damage, thereby making this down evator save so let's just put that to the test and there you see no damage oh and it's dark so let's just take a let's just take a quick nap so we can bring bring the light back and 
what did I want to show you next? Oh yes, yes. We want to go, want to go to the library because I want to share share some law and knowledge um, about this uh, about this land. So let's just. Oh, I'm going the wrong one. I want to go to the first floor. So go up here, over to the library, and we have this book here. Let's have a look in. No, don't put it back. I want to have a look inside. So let's have a look inside it. Law of Tridentia. Tridentia is the name of this um, ancient land, apparently. And we're going to start with Lord Azalea. Now, Lord Azalea is um, the statue we have as the centerpiece in, in the courtyard. In the courtyard. <laughs> oh, gosh, me and my words. In the courtyard. So there's a statue of Lord Azalea in the centre of the courtyard. It is said that Lord Azalea is a benevolent and generous god. Lord Azalea created the Azalea tree and the Azalea plants. So now we know where the Azalea came from. It was created by Lord Azalea. He gave this tree his name so people will know he is the true life giver. Hmm, interesting. However, it is said that he gave his name to the tree out of vanity. The Guardian, who I briefly mentioned, also decreed it was vain and therefore confined azalea plants and trees to only grow in secluded swampy marshy areas. So basically they're not spread out very far, uh, making them sort of like harder to find. Um, and apparently this displeased Lord Azalea. Hmm, he got a bit angry with that, he didn't like that did he? And he allegedly took revenge by condemning the land surrounding the Guardian to be swampy, muddy marshland, along with azalea trees and plants. <laughs> I guess just to rub salt in the wound there. Um, he also um, turned uh, the Guardian into that big tree that we saw. Um, so let me just close this a minute. Let's just go down to where Lord Azalea is. So reopen the book again and get back here. A little bit displeased, Lord Azalea. So the great swamp tree outside the castle is known as the guardian and it is and is also known as the true god of the land of Tridentia, allegedly. It's not clearly known who arrived here first, Lord Azalea or the guardian. Legend states that the guardian and Lord Azalea faced off against each other. Lord Azalea raised his trident and slammed it into the ground in anger causing a dent underneath the trident and cracking the floor, releasing a power surge at the Guardian. And if we have a quick look over here, we can see where the trident was slammed down and this centerpiece brick here is quite rippled and the trident's firmly lodged in there and the surrounding bricks are cracked. And apparently, as much as they tried, they couldn't repair this area or remove these, these damaged um, bricks, they just will not budge. They're all part of this scene forevermore. And what do we have next? Where have I gone too far? So, da da da. The razors slammed it down in anger, releasing a power surge at the Guardian. But the Guardian was too clever and too quick, and he reacted by freezing Lord Azalea where he stood. So, in fact, we're not actually looking at a statue. This is actually, supposedly, the real Lord Azalea frozen to this particular spot. So, is the courtyard statue really a statue, or is it indeed the frozen Lord Azalea? You can clearly see the disrupted ground below his trident, as I've just sh shown you there. So, very interesting, and those eyes are a bit creepy as they like those paintings where the eyes follow you, I think. Or is it just me being silly? Probably me just being silly. So there we go. A bit of lore surrounding this land and a bit of knowledge. And um, Harpoon Harry has uh, promised to give me more information and knowledge as, as time progresses. And as I say, they've both agreed to serve my command, these elite soldiers, which is nice. Look at this easy to appear. <laughs> He's doomed to stay there forevermore. He's got his helmet on. 
Um, so the daylight's not going to destroy him. And he, he can't move from there. He don't want to jump down because it's too scared, too big a drop. He can't jump up. He can't move left or right. So he's just basically stood there. And here we have Dog Blade on duty, guard duty, along with his uh, new best friend, Sabretooth, which is nice. So what we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to tackle the trial chambers. And as I mentioned, um, we have a way of guaranteeing success. Obviously, the ultimate objective is to grab a mace, because I want a mace. I want to attack people with a mace. <laughs> I want to play with that mace so badly, I really do. So, uh, yeah, let's... Um, uh, I'll just going to get prepared for it first, and then, um, yeah, we'll uh, get tackling the trial chambers. So, I turn my back for a few moments, and um, the harpooners, Harpoon Henry and Harpoon Harry, have been at work um, commandeering some demon war skelly horses. Let's have a quick look at these. What have we got? We've got Doomsday. We've got Trojan. I like that one. We've got Destroyer. Sounds a bit scary. And Apocalypto. Well, maybe they're preparing for something. Who knows? Maybe they'll tell me. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Harpoon Henry and Harpoon Harry saw me admiring their horses, and they decided to give me a gift of not one, not two, but three war skelly horses of my own. Now, I haven't thought of any names for these yet, but, you know, um, Trader, what are you doing? I did, where, how did you get up there? Why, I order, you, you, oh, you're going to get it, you are, buddy. Um, yeah, I've not thought of any names for these horses yet. Um, so I am open to suggestions. If anyone wants to uh, suggest a name for any of these horses, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Um, I might even name one myself. We'll see. So I've located the trial chamber. Well, or should I say the trial chamber that I had the map for. And I've set up base just here. So we can jump straight down like so. Come right up there. And we've got ladders, to, lad, ladders, ladders to take us back up. Um, now I've already completed the first spawner. Because I just wanted to take a to look round just to get my bearings as it were and already <laughs> yeah just got a few things and <laughs> look at that a wind charge i want loads of them i really do but yeah it's not been uh, not been too bad so i've got me and a chest here got the bad omen ominous bottle so that i can go for the ominous trial once i've uh, got all the all the others the the normal trial sorted out basically uh, got some bits and bobs in here, uh, some concrete, uh, cobblestone, and so on. So, I've set up bed here, so where my spawn is, just in case I die, which I hope I don't die. Uh, yes, so, uh, this was the first level, I've got some vases, I've been down those doors. This is where I met the first, uh, this is where I met the first spawner, just here, and I've stoned it off already so every time i complete one they're going to get stoned off like this the reason being when i do the ominous trials i can just do one at a time and take it easy that is the plan anyway now i had this idea a while ago however uh prowl and blue jay uh, beat me to it they produced a, a video guide uh, or a video tutorial for the trial chambers where they actually showed um, this does, this method does actually work. So I'm not going to take full credit for it because they made a video, they've made a video tutorial, uh, they showed it off and showcased the trial chambers in an exciting and fun way. So I recommend you go and watch their video. But now I need to go up another level and uh, see what's a crack lacking up there, I think. So let's let's get to it. Let's see what we've got. 
Ooh. Oh. There's nothing on this one. Oh. Oh, do I need to go down then, maybe? This is... Nothing up here. Oh. That was a bit of a surprise. I was expecting to find another spawner. So where's the next one then? Um, so here we are. Now, I've already... This is a dead end here. So, well, this is back to the start, isn't it? And if I've already been round here, and there's nothing much really round here either. Um, unless I have to go down there. I have to go down. No, there's nothing down there, is there? It looks. That's just. Yeah, that's just nothing down there. Uh, so, where do I go? Where does this take me? This takes me back to that. Oh no, this takes me to a little room where there was a barrel here. Might as well get rid of that because I don't need that. There's some beds there. Hmm. I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit, a bit stumped. Nah. Uh, I, oh my gosh, I'm all, I'm going the wrong way already. Let's get back to the main bit. So, this can't be it, surely. There must be something else. Have I missed something when I've gone down these doorways? Or do I have to... Do you have to just dig your way through, I guess, maybe? Into the other... To find the other spawners. Let me take... Um, let me do a bit of reconnaissance. And I'll get back to you. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so I've been looking around and... Digging through walls, uh, not making much progress to be fair. I did find this bad boy, which I think is uh, the ominous vault, I think, because of the red eyes, maybe. But yeah, I can't, not seem to uh, find any more battle spawners. I'm just going to have to keep digging and digging, I'm afraid. Uh, so. Bear with me, I'm going to do some more digging, and I'll be back with you soon. Well, I've been all around, been doing the diggy digging, and nothing. I think this is um, a spoilt chamber, basically. I don't think it spawned correctly, uh, which is a shame, really. A bit of an anticlimax. I was so geared up and excited for the trial chambers. So I think all I'm going to do with this one is just rip it apart and get all the... Um, get all the copper and all, all the resources and get that back and go looking for another trial chamber um hopefully we can uh do that in the next episode maybe team up with somebody as well and we can uh, go off and you know find a, a proper trial chamber because this one is just a bust and a dead end so i'm just gonna get as much resources as i can from this because that's all it's worth. <laughs>